see where we are. It's Where a, are we? We're Dane at Dane End, End at the moment. Yeah. So, Good old Dane. Uh, there you go. We'll, we'll, <laughs> keep, we'll keep you posted and that's where we're going. And there's, there's a man in a bright orange yeah. top here. Cyclists. Won't miss him, will they? So we're at Dane End. Any clues now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, quite a nice little village, actually, isn't it, baby? Quaint. quaint. It's quite quaint. There's a lot of quaint villages around yeah, Stevenage Way. Yeah, they're all really lovely. And, uh, yeah, they're really lovely. So, there you are, lovely big tree there. Look, that's elm tree, I think that wasn't on oak. But uh, it is quite quaint. Yeah. As you can see. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, lovely. Look at that. This is the old petrol oh, pumps. Look at that. that is eh? old, isn't petrol it? pumps. <laughs> yeah. Well, going back in time. And we certainly are going back in time <laughs> here. Um, yeah, well. Here's the, here's the, the old boot. boot. The, the boot, boot pub. <laughs> you see? So we're coming out of here now and uh, we'll keep you posted. Keep up, keep up. Now we're in Great Munden now. So we're um we're on our well on our way I believe from here on. So lovely country sort of right here though. You wouldn't think you see it's just a few miles out of Stevenage and here we are in the countryside. I think there was a town inside. There you go. But we're not inside, we're in Great London, actually. I'm all rambling here, Bo. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. So this is Great London, which apparently is greater than Little London. Oh, God. <laughs> little London's little. There's nothing else better to say. Great London, <laughs> in <What>? fact. So, <laughs> what's, 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 boom, boom. Once we get through Great London, which is great. Beep. Beep. Oh, I must have said that. I can't cut that one out. Leave them out. Beep. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> so, and uh, we're coming out of Great London, oh, apparently. Excuse Nicky. <laughs> Continuing our journey here. So, oh, a little few old houses here, just outside Great London. Yeah. Uh, after picture, 200 yards, you have reached your destination. Oh, have we? Uh, well, yeah, nasty. There we are. The flags come up and says nasty. And we're in nasty. This is nasty. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh, 200 <laughs> yards, we've reached. There you are. We've reached it. And this is nasty. This is nasty, oh, babe. <laughs> so look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's we've quite reached, pretty and nasty. You have isn't reached it? your destination. Oh, thank so. you, dear. Yeah. There we are. Out of Great Munden. I can't nasty. even find a sign. a sign to say that it's nasty, but apparently it is. Apparently we're in nasty. <laughs> oh, there's a sign on the other side we're of the road. Nasty. Or is there one here? Nope, nope, that's someone's house. No, there isn't. So if we kind of um, pull up over here, maybe it might let us okay. stop here. Oh, yeah, this would be right, I should think. On. That's there nasty. There. Yeah. There's a sign behind me saying it. Right. We've just gone through nasty. We just come to, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. And just to prove the point, we are now in nasty. There. That's nasty, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it lovely, though? It's a lovely little, little hamlet, really. There's only a few houses here, but uh, the countryside is uh, lovely. So I'll see if I can get a. So, babe, uh, <laughs> hey, what do you think? Hey, we're here. We made it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and nasty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's nasty. <nice>, eh? <laughs> right now we're going to go for yeah. a bit of ugly. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. <laughs> all right. Why not? No stopping us, is there? No, of course not. <laughs> all right, on our way. Yay. Right, we're going through the Haddams now. Much Haddam and little Haddam and <laughs> Adam and Eve. <laughs> no, whatever. Boom, boom. But um, <laughs> names to conjure with them themselves, aren't they? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty and ugly, but there you go. <laughs> so we're on our way now. <laughs> We've left Nasty now, we're in Standon, where you can make a delivery, Standon deliver. Do you reckon, Bo? It gets worse. It gets worse, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're on our way to Bishop Stortford, <laughs> or as our sat nav calls it, Bishop Stortford. Yeah. Because <laughs> he can't pronounce Stortford. I'll take it. <laughs> so, there we machine. go. So we're on our way yeah. to the next part of our. <laughs> yeah. Adventure on the 
eight, one twenty eight twenty yet. So just okay. past Haddon Hall and Cradle End. Look at the lovely colours of those autumn colours of the trees there. But, uh, now, hopefully, we'll be on our way to a final destination. There's something to eat and drink, eh, Boo? Yay! Yay, that would be After good. After 800 yards, yards go left on the roundabout. <laughs> first exit. <laughs> there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Go left on the roundabout, the lady says. I've been thinking she's my little lady. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happened. Like Whatever her name is, Bertha, I think. They call her Bertha. There's an aeroplane taking off up there, look. We're obviously from Stansted. Yeah. So, uh, no, we're there you going, go. We're, 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 we're in Essex now. Roundabout. First exit, <laughs> Stansted Road. <laughs> well, this is Montfichet, where there's a, a Norman castle, which we might actually divert our <laughs> adventures to go there as well. Yeah. Who knows? Um, <laughs> castle is by the museum over to the right there, apparently. But uh, hopefully we'll stop here for a cup of tea. There's the yeah. cock there. Yeah. If we can. Yeah, family garden area. We're going to stop here for a yeah, while. We carry on. We'll All right, we'll see you later after we've had a cup of tea yeah. and something to eat. Yeah, you're getting a bit tired. So we need a break. They're scratching yeah, around here. The chickens. Good. Look at this. This is you. Are they beautiful. Oh, one wants to come in here as well. Yeah. I think yeah. they're digging you've up the worms here. here. But look are. at the colours of that. Gosh. That cockerel, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Hey, that, is, come here. that is beautiful. Ooh, come here. I say, hey. good. Yes, hey. but this, uh, that's He's so beautiful. That, that deer, hungry, that reminds me of Ambie. You're very hungry, aren't you? Yeah? Gorgeous. And there's the castle right Ooh. up there. Look, it's there all are. in a, such are. a wonderful yeah. settings, really. And the castle there. here. Isn't that beautiful? And the, the, the pigeon in the hand is peace, fly on forever and never cease. Ha! Lovely. And look at the colour of this bird here. Aren't they lovely? They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful animals. What a setting, eh? What a setting. It's such a setting here, look at that, that castle. Oh. Oh, yeah, we'll probably get up closer too to that, I should think. But uh, I'm enchanted with the animals. Certainly, certainly enchanted with them. So beautiful. And there's my Nicky. Still feeding the animals there, look. <laughs> yeah, we've got a special food for them. So we're not uh, feeding them. Illegally, if you like, or abusing them, it's uh, it's proper food that you could get from the reception. She's feeding them, and uh, oh, <laughs> that's lovely, isn't it? What a diversion from our little um, <laughs> ugly, nasty trip <laughs> adventure. <laughs> when you come down from God, so there was just flying the flag. I come down here and there's an entrance there, imagine. And then there's a like a little boffy that we, we in Scotland we used. Uh, that was old woman's hut there. And a uh, real like Saxon settlement, I suppose, would be here. But I suppose that would be an entrance into the castle. Amazing, right on our doorstep, I didn't even notice here. There's my ah. angel taking some pictures there, right over by the, the old uh, Saxon settlement. Ah. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> She's taking my picture as well. <laughs> well, here's the, uh, the entrance to the castle. Out around there, I imagine, and uh, here we can see right through the trees there. Oh. There's quite an eye open to this, it certainly is. 
and there's that sort of barge thing that we were looking at earlier it's over there and the, looking from the bottom of the hill there it is there's a ram to ram through the cause of walls I imagine lovely <laughs> there's my baby <laughs> Look at my picture as <laughs> she goes into the entrance, I'll take it. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Lovely. <Pick more> pictures. <laughs> I'm come through the entrance to the Norman Castle. <laughs> and there's Nikki going that way. <laughs> and uh, look at all this, isn't that amazing? God. Look at the spears and things here. So that all the weaponry. Huh. Axes. Huh. That goes right through there. Flames flying there. And then we go through the ramparts here. Oh, this is the palisade. A palisade this is, isn't it? Wow. It's, uh, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it amazing? It it's is. all preserved, look. That's how they used to live. That's how they used to live, yeah. 1066. Saxon, 1066 this was, yes. Yeah, how Saxon to... times. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can follow us through here, look. Isn't that amazing? If they want a fork, they would simply walk along the hedgerow and cut out a suitable piece of wood, as you see here, and use it as a fork. Also in front of you, you will see the quernstones, which were used for grinding up corn. Further along the building, you will see the harrow, which was simply laid on the ground with a man standing on top, pulled along by oxen, and the flints would harrow the ground. At the far end of the building, you will see the man trap, Man <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. Ouch. Man trap. Yeah. This is made illegal, apparently. <sighs> oh, get my leg out of here. There we are, some artifacts of the Norman times. Ha. Well, it's quite an experience this. My word. This, uh, this is uh, actually a, a Norman settlement. Wow. Isn't Quite that amazing? It's an eye opener, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Are you glad we come there? It's amazing because how we live nowadays and we moan about, including myself, about you know, getting the hoovering done, the washing done, the laundry, yeah. and how hard we got things. And these guys had it ten times as bad, if not worse. Oh, they didn't, six, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, look much at this. Worse, much like, worse, much worse. Like the... The stocks there, the whipping post where you would be chained. Yeah. There, chained to that. I know. Oh and God. whipped for a minor dis misdemeanor, yeah, I that'd imagine. Be a, probably illegal now. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be illegal now, yeah. But and the, like the man traps were yeah. illegal. But you see, if we go in here, like this. You had your hand cut off, as you see happening here in front of you. Have your hand cut off. Many hostages were taken and held to ransom. <laughs> For large sums Ooh. of money. Some of the hostages were treated as house guests, but in many cases they were imprisoned in the dungeon, as you see before you here today. The man in charge of the prison is called the constable. In front of you, you see the many punishments which were handed out to people who disobeyed the laws. If you were caught hunting the baron's deer, you had your hand cut off. We saw some deer, didn't we? As you see happening here in front of you. Many hostages were taken and held to ransom for large sums of money. And now from our um, in humble abode in this uh, Norman <laughs> settlement, you can see everything around here. Look at that. 
is the castle again. And uh, here's something that interests me. Look, there, a genuine green roof. Well, as you see, we can't miss the green roof out now. Nick is going to take a photograph of it to put in there. But uh, yeah, here we are. Look, what a what a sight, eh? Actually, in in this Norman settlement, yeah. you can hardly believe it, can you? Gosh. A coat of arms there, look. Wow, this, uh, this is certainly an eye opener. All because we looked for uh, uh, nasty and uh, ugly. ugly. <laughs> and we finished up here. Yeah. So it's well, always it's... happening to us, too, this unexpected adventures. It's true. <laughs> Isn't it just very true? The weeping willow over there, which I think is rather nice, too. And that up there isn't a basketball net. It's, um, it's, it was the beacon, they put the beacon up there, of course, and there's the rest of it. The... There we are. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there we are. Lovely. That's uh, quite something. Nice look at our green roof over there, too. I've got it over there. Of course, and uh, coming from here, looking down, you know what you hear there is, uh, the water mill here, look, see that? Yeah. There. there we are. Isn't that Indeed. quite amazing? Indeed, as Nikki says. Uh -huh. Indeed. She's getting the pictures while I'm getting the videos. I didn't think this adventure turned out this good, to be honest with you. But there you go, you never know, like I said before, with us. Anything's possible, there's a lovely dove just flew past. There's doves flying all over the place here, by the way. Quite a peaceful place. And uh, if you look right up there on the turret, there is actually a sentry looking out. You notice him. There he is. Here's the carp pond, apparently. This is the carp pond. Where uh, all carp has had a special pond dug up, especially for the breeding. Stocking of carp, continuous supply of fresh fig. Fish of it for the castle came under siege, so they'd have their own fish here. And of course, there's all the, the geese and the ducks, uh, their chickens, that they could have eggs and fresh meat as well. So it's pretty self contained, really, hasn't it? And here comes this couple of those chickens which were around in the Saxon times. And, uh, yeah. Go in here, and uh, here's the the rest of the settlement here. This is uh, quite. It's like just walking into another world, really. It really is. You're just into a, into the Saxon world. <laughs> so, I'm quite amazed, actually. Aren't you, Bo? Yeah, I'm quite. Um, <laughs> it's like like it's moving a into a, a t totally different world, isn't it? Totally different. <laughs> totally different yeah. And as Nicky said, oh, there's the ducking stall. Look. If you did something wrong, because they'd sit you on that seat and duck you in the pond and, and uh, until you told the truth or atoned for your sins. So, um, there you go. And look at those, those doves perched up there, which is quite something. You see that? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wow. That's beautiful. That really is beautiful. And so is my wife beautiful over there, look. Is. And here we are. There are the geese, the geese and the ducks. Huh. They'll come in to see us. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're coming to see us, are you? I haven't got any food left, I'm afraid. No, no, no. But they're beautiful animals, beautiful creatures. Lovely, and they're everywhere, of course. They get everywhere. And uh, including the ones in the lot. There. There's a poor bloke being hung here. Some misdemeanor, I imagine. So, uh, there we are. There he is, the gallows. 
It's the gallows. The poor bloke. And there goes the bells ringing. And uh, there's the gibbet. God, really? Oh. Amazing. Isn't it incredible? It just, just, it's, I say, it's, I just can't get over it because it's like being in a, another world. There's a peacock, there's peacocks here, and a peahen, as well as a load of kids coming in. You know, wow, this is quite amazing. And the school, school children's party's just coming in now, so I we'll have to probably stop filming for a little while because I don't want to get the children on there. That's it. Quite something. Look at that. There's the turkey. That's lovely. Lovely. <laughs> and there's, uh... <laughs> Suddenly. Oh, look at a little bantam there. Little bantam here. Look at him. Isn't he lovely? And there's some more settlements. <laughs> Uh, got quite a high of activity now because the local children just come home. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, take a walk through the Port Cullis here yeah. and uh, across the. There we go. And uh, more of the. We've got rid of the kids. <laughs> I got away. We're lucky because. I say we were the only ones here and it was just that school party was due because it's officially closed they just let us in which was very nice of them but there again there's another little place with a cart there and everything and this is amazing it really is amazing Seen anything quite like this? Amazing enough in uh, Shakespeare's time, but uh, this going back even further. That's uh, memorial services. There we are. Quite amazing. Another beacon up there. Incredible. Incredible. Really love this. The logs. Everything. Look at the thatching on the roof. That's quite amazing. It's really, it's incredible, something. Oh well, we're going to find ugly, I suppose. Inside here, we <laughs> see all the, the cooking facilities. Um, you have just moved back in time to the 11th century. I am Baron Memphichet, and I own the castle, and live here with my family, servants, and guards. The rest of the castle community lives in the Outer Bailey. My father, the Duke of Boulogne conquered Stansted in 1066 and built his Martin Bailey Castle here. He was awarded large areas of land in Essex, Norfolk and Suffolk as his reward for loyalty and valour to William the Conqueror in his invasion of England and defeating King Harold. One of my descendants, Richard de Mount Fidget II, is destined to become famous as one of the 25 barons responsible for forcing King John to observe the Magna Carta at Runnymede, which laid the foundations for democracy in this kingdom. You have just brought back... Now this lady here is the oldest living near in existence, apparently. She's 46 years old and uh, a bit lumpy and bumpy, but she's... Uh, she's still with us. Isn't that amazing? And she's not in pain or anything. Oh yeah. Aren't you amazing? Hello. Amazing lady, aren't you? Lula Bell, I think that is. Yeah, aren't you beautiful? Yes, so say goodbye. You. Goodbye, Lula Bell, and goodbye to the Montpichet Castle. Lovely. Bye bye. <laughs> yes, we did get to nasty, didn't we? We did get to ugly. Yeah. Because we got diverted as we yeah. often did. 
and um, to Mount Chit Castle as well. And what was the name of that? Old Deer? I forgot the name, sorry. Her name, anyway. Um, she's, uh, oh shit, that's a Yeah, <laughs> she's the oldest deer in captivity, apparently. Yeah. And you didn't see her, she's been on the video anyway. Beautiful. So we never did get to um, ugly, but I'm sure we'll do it another day, won't we, Bo? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Sure. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it, we're on our way home now, and um, there you go, we're on our way home. Yeah. Alright, yeah. <laughs> okay. See ya <laughs> for our next adventure.